Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today is hashtag Kathy Sewing Happiness, in which we'll have a drawing at the end of the video. But first, let's have our shout out to Lori1970, Yvette, Judy, Rosalind, Rachel, Lori, Carolyn, Gwyneth, Jacqueline, and Sherry. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm going to set this aside. And we're going to get right to it. And what are we going to do today? Today we're going to take our safety pins and we're going to make safety pin dangles. So safety pins, when you open them up, this is the part that you would like to put your beads on. But you're not able to do that because that's also the part that you're going to use to place it through your lace, your material, your paper, and it leaves no room to place your beads. And I know we all have loose beads, seed beads, larger beads. We have all kinds of beads. So to do that, you're going to need what is called a head pin or an eye pin. These are eye pins. They have the little circles down below. These are head pins. They either have a, a piece of metal going this way or they have just a ball. And these are found by typing in jewelry findings. I know that sounds strange if you're not used to doing jewelry things, but that's what they call them, jewelry findings. And you type that in and then you can look for the eye pins or the head pins or the ball pins or, you know, pins. You're looking for those. So let's go ahead and let's make a simple one first. So let's take the ball pin and let's place one of our beads on here. I like this little teardrop bead. And let's go ahead and take a few seed beads and place them right on to our little pin right here. You don't want to put too many because it's going to take a little bit of space to be able to make a circle at the top. So I have left, let me see if I can pick this up over here. How far have I left it? It's not quite it's almost a half an inch, but not quite. So I'm going to take my little tool here, which is a rounded pliers, and I'm going to do something very strange. I'm going to bend it completely over. And you're going to say, well, how on earth is that going to work? Can you see that it's completely bent over? Now I'm going to take it, and I'm going to attach my little pliers up here, fairly close to the top, and I'm going to roll it the other way. I can get my fingers to cooperate on camera. Now we have our circle at the end. And I want it to be a little straighter, so I'm going to bend it back the other way just a little bit. And there you go. You have your hole at the top, and that's what you're going to need. Now you could actually put that and put it directly onto your your end, but that's a little trickier to do. So if you're just getting started, you can go ahead and you can get yourself some rings. And whoa, we're going to open this up. Now to open it up, you can just pull them apart because we're not making jewelry. We're just we're just making some dangles. So if you're making jewelry, you'd pull them apart differently because that just made it a wonky circle. And I know that. I know that. Some people are going, you don't pull it apart that way. Yes, I know, but we're just we're just making some dangles and we're going to actually put them back together differently than you would do it if you were making some nice piece of jewelry because we're going to overlap it. And why am I overlapping it? I'm overlapping it because I don't want it to come apart. And sometimes... <clears throat> If you don't overlap it, it will come apart. So there you have it. You have a little dangle, just like that. I don't even know if you can see this. Can you see that? Have your little dangle. So you can attach it to your material or your paper. Here's a little piece. I don't want to use that. Let's see, what shall we use? I thought I had something right here. Oh, here. Is that this? 
this will work. You could attach it to a little piece of lace. And there you have it. Okay, let's do another one a little more complicated. Let's take the one that has the circle on the end. And let's go ahead and add a larger bead. And then let's add some seed beads on here as well. Maybe two. And then maybe a larger bead. Or maybe I just wanted one. Yep, that brings it too close to the top right there. See, it's just way too close. That's not going to work out for us. Let's change and put this pink one on. Because I think it would work doing this way. And then change to a pink seed bead. See if I can do this. It's a very cloudy, rainy day today. And my light in my craft room is not very good. Um, it's good for filming, but not for me seeing what I'm doing. <laughs> and so that's why I'm kind of struggling a little bit here to see this. Because you really need some pretty good light to be able to see these little holes. Okay, now I can put this on next. There. All right. So, do you see I'm a little bit from the top about the same distance I was last time. And let's go ahead and let's take it and let's bend it completely over. So we've got it bent completely over like that. And then we're going to take it and bend it completely the other way. I know that just sounds so strange. We're going to bend it completely the other way. So that you end up with a loop at the top. Can you see the loop at the top? There's a loop at the top. Okay, now let's go ahead and let's take maybe a large pin. I mean, you can probably see this better now off the mat, over here off this black mat. And let's go ahead and grab ourselves a little ring. Now this is the way you're supposed to open them up. You're supposed to take and open them up like this. Okay, because it doesn't make them go wonky. So let's place this on here just like this. And then we can place it onto our end of our pin and then let's go ahead and maybe let's add a key. I think a key will fit and then we're going to close this ring up and I'm not going to close it up the way you would if you're making a piece of jewelry. I'm actually going to have them go past each other so that it would stay no matter what. Okay, now we look like this. The dangles are like this. And let's add a little something else to the bottom of this. Um, this one's red, so pink and red. All we could do, we could do a heart, love, and mix the colors. Why not? Let's go ahead and mix these because we have our key. So let's take another ring and let's open it up. And place this through the ring. Place it through the ring of our little dangle that we made from our loose beads. And look at this adorable dangle that we have made on the end of our pin. Absolutely 
adorable. Now I have made some. I'm going to attach this one on here so you can see how these are going to look. Let's put this on here like this. And then the little one that we made, let's get that one on there too so you can see them all. All right, so we have the one that we made together right here. I have another one right here. I have one with a bigger charm. It's a angel, the one that we just made right here, and then a smaller one that I made with flowers and some beads. Oh my goodness, you guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it has helped you use up some of those loose beads that you have had and you just don't know how to use the safety pins and the beads. <laughs> you guys, let's have our drawing. So to get into the fishbowl, what do you have to do? You need to spread happiness to another person. And then after you do that, you go to the most current hashtag Kathy Sewing Happiness video. It has to be the most current, guys, because if it isn't, the drawing's already been made and you're not going to be able to, to win. And what do you win? You win happy mail from me to you as my way of paying it forward. In the description down below, it will tell you how to win. It will tell you if you win, how you're going to get your address to me because I'm going to need your address. To be able to send you your happy mail. Simple acts of kindness doesn't have to cost you a thing. You can let someone in line at the grocery store because you have 20 items and they have one. Letting someone in line of traffic because no one's letting anybody in and you can just make someone's day. It's not going to change their world but it will lift their spirits. It really will you guys. So all of you help me spread happiness. And the winner is Renee Lewis. Renee, you have won happy mail from me to you as my way of paying it forward. You guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.